Welcome to the Folks Learn. Today we will learn how to use Binding Source and Binding Navigator. First, you need to add a data grid view to form one and a simple user class to your project, then rebuild your project and add a data source to the data grid view control. We will use binding source to add to the data grid view data source. The binding source component serves many purposes. First, it simplifies binding controls on a form to data by providing currency management, change notification, and other services between Windows Forms controls and data sources. This is accomplished by attaching the binding source component to your data source using the data source property. For complex binding scenarios you can optionally set the data member property to a specific column or list in the data source. You then bind controls to the binding source. All further interaction with the data is accomplished with calls to the binding source component. Binding source provides members for accessing the underlying data. The current item can be retrieved through the current property, and the entire list can be retrieved through the list property. Editing operations are supported on the current item through current and the remove current, and edit, cancel edit and add and add new methods. Now we will add a binding navigator control to form one and then set the binding navigator data source same the data grid view data source. The binding navigator control represents a standardized way to navigate and manipulate data on a form. In most cases, a binding navigator is paired with a binding source control to move through data records on a form and interact with them. In these cases, the binding source property is set to the associated system Windows Forms binding source component that acts as a data source. By default, the binding navigator controls user interface is composed of a series of tool strip buttons, text boxes, and static text elements for most common data related actions such as adding data, deleting data, and navigating through data. Each of these controls can be retrieved or set through an associated member of the binding navigator control. You can move next record or move forward record and you can easily delete or add a new record to data grid view control. Thank you for watching this video.